let me down. People are dying because of you, Hans. There you go. Oh, got him once. Oh, he's probably going to die now, too. Anina, we need your help. There we go. Oh, no. Get him. There you go. So that's got to be it. But it better be because I'm running out of people. Connor, come check out that corner. Oh, thank God. A rating of okay. Not too bad. So I lost 10 out of 14. That's pretty bad. Took four out more than they did. Oh, three civilians made it. Excellent. The city has been saved. Hans is a sergeant because someone else got shot and died. Congratulations, you survived, you're promoted. Oh, so now I'm immediately going to go and replenish my soldiers. Not enough money. Well, that's not a big deal because I'm going to sell a few of these laser rifles. A little bit of money back. Almost two thirds of the way through the month. We'll kind of continue along here. Give me a UFO to go first. There's my people, so I'm going to go check them out and clear out the garbage. Because you don't want people getting taken under alien control, as you saw. And people panicking. It just causes nightmares. See, I'm going to keep this guy. 30 is not good, but he's got 60 time units and he's pretty accurate. Sack. Sack. That's it. So these guys are getting promoted, so I'm going to throw a little plus for them. He gets two pluses for being a sergeant. Johan got promoted. He had a horrible, horrible time last time. And he's pretty brave. How did he keep panicking, that pansy? Right. Got to equip my craft. Let's fill it up with some crew. Leave myself four spots because I also wanted to. We'll need a little bit more money to get a tank, so I'm going to sell one more, a couple more plasma rifles because I do want that tank back. Now, moving onward. That's fine. Because I'm actually going to go equip craft and give my crew oops, their equipment. I want there to be 10 laser rifles. Just doing a little bit of clean up here. Electroflare heavy plasma. We've got a heavy one. That's what I want eventually all my guys to be carrying. It's plasma and heavy plasma. So a couple of these plasma pistols get some money. Anything 
grenade, septoid corpses, sell those. Look, I just got a million dollars out of selling a bunch of alien garbage. Actually use a bit of that to get a few more engineers. A few more scientists. And hopefully that tank will get here soon. There it is. So I'm going to throw it onto my ship. Boom. And back. Sweet. Finally. It's been a while since I got a UFO to go after. So I'm going to intercept him. I'm going to send the big one. Hopefully I get it. Oh, got him. It's another small one. Nine meters across. I'm going to go with a pretty aggressive attack. Just wipe him out. Those avalanches will blow him up right away. So now I'm going to wait a little bit until night goes away. See, I'm letting it become daytime. And then I'm going to send my craft. You always want to, if you can, try to avoid night missions because they're tough. You can't see as well. And the aliens seem to be able to see you just fine. Also, why didn't some of these people get a rifle? It's weird. Connor, why didn't you grab a rifle? Bonehead. Alright, everyone's got a rifle now. Excellent. Alright, let's go tank. Alright, so I always like to find what corner of the map I'm in, just so I know what direction we want to spread out. And I usually send the tank out. Oh, look, the alien spacecraft is right there. I'm going to have the tank come out and just kind of watch the door. Because I didn't see any aliens right off the bat, I'm going to move a few of my soldiers out on this turn, but I'm leaving some snapshot time units. So 15 is how many it takes to shoot that gun. I'm going to try and send Connor a bit of a recon mission around the back here. And Hans. I'm going to keep him in just because he's my sergeant. I don't want him getting massacred right away. I want him to level up. Can't lose my sergeant again. So we'll use Vit Vlek. Vulcek. Vit Vulcek. My, uh, Russian, who's aboard, and then Sani Kivan Niemi. Interesting names. Alright, so let's go get these aliens in the UFO. So I'm just going to move these other people just right to the front here. I probably pulled out a couple more than I probably should have, but I'm being a bit more risky on this Twitch stream than. I normally am. Just trying to speed it up. Uh oh. So he's on the roof. Anita, man, she was. Oh no. Thanks for shooting the tank and not a person. Alright, so that SOB is gonna die now. I'm going to try and take this one that's the close first, but I'm going to take him out with like one of these guys. I'm going to see if I can get Hans to be promoted again. 
the reason I'm doing this is because as they get promoted, they become more accurate. So I'm looking for people to be my snipers. Oh, come on, Hans. Alright, so Vit, let's see if you can take this guy out. He's like 10 feet from you. It's basically point blank, man. Auto shoot. It's basically point blank, Vit. You failed me, you idiot. Alright, let's see if Sani can do this then. There you go. Let's see if you can get this other one on the roof. Got him. Sani's a marksman. Got her go. Alright, so now I gotta get her hopefully to some sort of safety. And I'm gonna send Daniela to breach the alien ship. And Orlando can follow her. I'm gonna send him out here. I'll be there and there, so the tank send out behind these buildings. I don't doubt there's going to be anyone back there, but the tank and Johan will flush them out. Connor's going to take around the back of the ship. Looking pretty good. Hans, Mr. Can't Shoot to save his ass. Alright. There is one up in those buildings. Oh. Sani, she was uh, my marksman. Why'd you have to shoot her? There were two right in front of her. Alright, Daniela, go get revenge. I should have brought a stun gun. So I always look in the ship because oftentimes there will be an alien like right there or right here and you can't see them unless you look in that direction and they'll shoot you in the side if you're uh, not careful. So that other alien somewhere up in this area. Hans, Hans way. season. There he is. I'm going to have Vit move over and try to take a couple shots first. No line of fire. There you go. Good shot, Vit. It's about time. So I needed an easier mission. Whoops, I wanted to move the tank. I needed an easier mission like this. Hopefully a couple of my rookies get promoted. Get a little experience under their belt. Their marksmanship gets better. Their bravery gets better. But I'm thinking that is it. Nope, there's one more. Is he out here in the court? No, he's got to be in one of these buildings. We'll send him upstairs. We'll send Vit and go upstairs here. Is he behind anything in here? No, it's not in the ship. Sometimes they are like be hiding behind this little engine. Not in there. I bet he's upstairs in one of these buildings.
check out that one tank. Alright, sometimes finding this last alien is a chore. Probably help if I went and researched the motion detector. No. Oh. Hans, no! That's my... Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have put Hans there. So he shot Hans and then ran back through this door. Oh. Hope Hagee doesn't die now. Oh, man, that sucks. Hans, I didn't want you to die. He's taking a shot at the tank. I like that. So that means I can just walk in and shoot him in the back right here, I bet. Oh, he went upstairs again. To the roof. So I'm going to sit here and just watch and wait for him. I'll let him keep taking pot shots at the tank. Okay, rating. I lost three XCOM operatives for five aliens. Not bad. Not great. But I did get some Illyrium. That's good. That's because that big thing in the middle of the ship was still preserved, that power source. Um, Illyrium is what you can use to build a lot of cool alien stuff, and you can only get it from alien spaceships and the bases. You can't manufacture Illyrium, so save it. Alright, Connor. Oh god, Connor's my new sergeant. Alright. I guess that'll work. Give me money. It's the end of the month. Oh, another spaceship. Ooh, see, look, this is a... It's still a small ship. But it's a bigger one. So these ones are pretty tough as well. There will be probably eight to ten aliens to fight. That's sixteen meters long. Let's uh, in a plus sign or a cross formation. So I'm gonna do a standard attack. Actually a bit of a cautious attack, keep him at distance until I hit him with my big missiles. He crashed, there we go. So this one I'm gonna wait till the scientists and engineers appear. I didn't know they were going to appear right then. I was going to say wait till the end of the month. So I'm going to hopefully get a couple motion scanners for my next mission. Maybe a couple med kits. Everything else looks pretty good. wait till the end of the month hopefully and have that crash site still be there there we go oh look everyone has increased my funding quite a bit USA UK France Germany Italy Spain Japan Australia Nigeria South Africa Egypt Canada they all like me yay 
So before I go, I just noticed I only have six crew, and the uh, HWP is the tank. Heavy weapons platform, I think is what that means. So I need to go add a few more people. So look, Vit is wounded. So I've got all ten on there. Let's see their equipment, laser rifles. You know, I didn't notice if it was going to be night or not. So I'm going to send some flares along. And I'm actually going to try to capture one of these guys. Alright, it's going to be daytime. So I just put it to a waypoint for now, and I'm just going to send my Sky Ranger to that waypoint, and then now I c it's full day, so I'm now going to send him to the crash site. We just wanted to wait till full daytime. Alright, and actually at this point, I am going to sign off. I've been doing this for a couple hours, but I will continue again. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for following earlier. That was nice of you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll, uh, since you followed, you'll see when I go on next. I'll probably hop on in a few hours tonight. Otherwise, it may be tomorrow. But uh, thanks for watching.